Hello everyone and welcome to another video on Tana. This time about the combination of Tana and ChatGPT. So I use ChatGPT a lot uh, for all kinds of things, uh, personally and at work. So I often am typing into ChatGPT and having a discussion with the AI. And then at some point I would copy and paste certain aspects from that discussion into Tana. Now, recently Andrea from Tana Notes, I'll share a link to, uh, to the amazing website uh, in the description below. They found a way to link the new uh, GPT feature of paid chat GDP accounts uh, to Tana. So you can send information directly from your conversation with the AI to Tana. So let's see how this works. So let's say I want to do some personal coaching or journaling. So pick a journaling prompt for me and send it to Tana. In this case, um, you, I instantly asked it to send something like here, reflect on a recent challenge you faced. Uh, I'll add this to Tana now. And you can see that it's starting an action. And currently it will ask you to allow every time to do an action uh, in order to send it there. And you can see it pop up in the sidebar. So um, very cool because you actually get a result back, including the link where it can be found. So really cool. So do you need some assistance to journal around or that? Let's see. Let's see what we can do. Let's start looking into these challenges. So uh, a recent challenge I had. Hmm, let's think about this. Okay, a recent challenge uh, I had was that I could not come up with great ideas for Tana videos. Luckily, uh, luckily, Andrea saved me from this problem. Okay, so let's see what it comes up with. That was wonderful. Andrea's assistance must have been a relief. It was. So what emotions did you experience? Mm. In what ways did Andrea's input? Uh -huh, uh, would you like to add any of these prompts to your turn? Yes. Can you add them below the note you just added? Let's see how smart it actually is. Now, it's no guarantee this is actually going to work, but uh, it can do quite a bit of things. So it can actually do um, date formatting. It can do for, uh, like formatting with bold and stuff like that. Uh, and let's see if this will actually end up going to the right spot. If not, it will probably just go to the inbox. But no, it actually put it at the right spot. So here we go. What emotions did you experience? Now, the formatting is not great, but you can see that there's a lot of potential here. So even if you just have a little bit of a lookup and see, hey, I want to use the AI for some information and then quickly get it into the inbox. But as you can see, you can also target specific nodes. So if you just go into any node and simply you do get the copy, uh, get linked to node, you can ask it to target that node and actually send it there. So I think it's a great little feature and uh, I wanted to demonstrate here how it works. Okay, so that's part one. So now how to get this in your own chat GPT. So in order to do that, again, you need to have a paid chat GPT account. And in this case, I'll close Tana and we'll move on completely into the GPT. Uh, in the paid version, you'll have this explore tab. So if you click here and then you say, click a GPT, it's still in beta um, to create one. Now we'll skip the, the builder feature here and we'll go straight into configure. So we're going to name, so my personal assistant, uh, of course you can add your own picture or have, uh, the, the AI generated later on. And for the instructions, uh, you need to have a specific file. I will go and share these, um, in the description below. Uh, but it's as simple as just copy and pasting everything in there. So yeah. Okay. Let's go. Chat GDP first, raw. We'll go here. There we go. I will copy it in, uh, in the instructions. And next up, we're going to do create new action. And then we're going to go back to that link I just shared, not this one, but the previous one. And there is the schema. And then again, go to raw, we'll copy and paste that. Again, you don't need to understand what is actually happening here. Just paste it in 
and wait for it to show up here. This is actually the definition of using how the AI should use the, the TANA API. And then go to authentication, select API key, select bearer, and then go back into TANA, get your workspace API key, and copy and paste it in here. And that's it. Then simply save it and press save here. Make sure to only uh, do me uh, and not anyone, uh, either at your company or anyone public, because this API key gives access to your personal TANA. So this should be a GPT that only is uh, available to yourself. Okay, that's it. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments or ask on Slack. And once again, Andrea, very much appreciated for this great idea about a video. Thank you.